I got a question about uh, some general tips for how to start a supplement regimen. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna tell you about that is, I'm not gonna recommend anything specific what, because you know, it's kind of different for everything. I mean, yeah, there's some things that you know, are gonna help everybody, I think, you know, and I think, I think we know for the most part what those are, things like protein powder, EAAs, creatine, et cetera, et cetera, uh, water, uh, electrolytes. Um, but I, I would say, first of all, you know, f- it's like everything, right? Figure out, figure out what your goal is, figure out, figure out where your gap is, you know, figure out what your training is going to be like. And then of course, get everything else dialed, right? I mean, that's, you know, that, that word supplement, we, we kind of tend to gloss over the meaning, but it's, you know, that's exactly what they are, right? So if you're, you know, you've heard it from a bunch of people and I'm going to, I'm going to reiterate, you know, if your sleep's not dialed, if your diet's not dialed, if your training isn't dialed, you need to worry about those first. But, um, once, you know, once you've got that dialed in, um, it, it's, pretty simple actually you know find you know do some research find a find a good company first of all i mean there's a lot of you know if you've been into a vitamin shop or a gnc you know there's a lot of stuff out there uh there's a lot of brands now i mean just because the supplement industry is for you know in most part unregulated so pretty much any anybody can put together supplements so i would recommend doing some homework you know i'd recommend going on some forums going on some sites um going on company websites you know trying a few things out you know if um, you know, I, that can get a little pricey, but I, I'd say it's a, it's a kind of an investment worth making, you know, and, and, you know, this is coming from somebody who's tried a lot of supplements over the last, good Lord, 25, almost 30 years now, I'll say 30 years now. Um, and it's, yeah, like I said, I think it's worth the investment because, you know, you're going to, you're going to learn what you like, you're going to learn what you don't like, you're going to learn what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And, you know, you might um, you might actually come across something that that changes your mind about things too. I guess is what I'm going to say. I'm trying to think of how to phrase that. So, for example, so protein powder is a great example, right? I mean, I'm pretty hit and miss with protein powder, and that's that's kind of why you know I like to talk up the FNX stuff so so uh, so hard is because it really really works for me. Um, you know, I actually started using the restart because uh, way back when, before the world was crazy and stupid. Um, I was going to morning jujitsu classes, but I'm, I don't know. Some people can. I can't do jujitsu fasted, and so I was looking for something to just kind of get me going. And so I tried their their uh, restart protein, kind of apprehensively, shall we say, knowing my uh, what my experience with the protein powders was like, and it, it actually worked really well. So I figured, hey, let's try the rest of them, and that's actually sort of what convinced me to kind of sign up to the uh, for the ambassador program, and then kind of you know go up to the next tier and. And now I'm here talking to you about them, about them. So, yeah, so do your research, you know, and, and that's another thing, you know, I mean, there may be something like, you know, you might come across a company who, uh, let's see, has some business practices that kind of align with your values, I guess is what I'm going to say. You know, maybe you like uh, the causes they support. Maybe you like how they do business. Maybe you like how they source ingredients. I mean, I think nowadays those are all valid things to think about, right? Especially if you've got, um, if you have a little bit of flexibility and, and you know, kind of how you, how and where you spend your money. So you know, if if you don't need to just get the most bang for your buck, but uh, if you do, I mean, obviously, then it just comes down to, you know, researching what product is is going to do that. But you know, and in that case, you need to really, really have an understanding of kind of what goes into supplements and what compounds do what. And again, you're going to have to try things and see like how said compounds affect you, and make sure that you really are getting the most for your money. And then of course, you know, once you're actually in it, figure out a schedule. You know, and Try and try and stick to it. I don't know for at least a month is at least, and that that's just kind of from my experience. I think I think usually after about a month, I can tell how something's going, and so I would recommend that. Unless, unless of course, unless you have some horrible adverse reaction, you know, right off the bat, then you know don't don't try and grind through it and hope that you're gonna adapt or whatever. You know, figure out what it is that's causing that um, that reaction, and then pivot away from it. And then another another thing I'd say, and probably this is the last little tip on this. Like I said, we've got a lot to talk about, and uh, I don't want to be um, I don't want to be going too long. Is uh, start with the recommended dose. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I've done. You know, and and I'm not. You know, I, I've made this mistake. I, I mean, there, there's a certain um, there's a certain GDA that I take right now. I'm not gonna. I won't, I won't tell you which one it is. But uh, I mean, I remember when I was first on it. Um, I think I took something like four times the recommended dose just because I had forgotten exactly, like, like I'd, I'd kind of gotten off schedule and, 
and you know i gave myself a you know a, a bit of a hypoglycemic spell and it was not pleasant and but hey at least i know this stuff works so yeah so you know so so start with a recommended dose you know titrate up or down based on how that makes you feel and you know at some point you know hopefully you settle into a groove and you go from there so um that's kind of kind of a general sort of general tips and i mean hope, hopefully a lot of that's common sense but uh, again, if you have questions about any of that, feel free to hit me up and I'm happy to kind of go more in depth about uh, kind of what, <clears throat> you know, what, what maybe how I might approach certain, you know, certain cycles, if that's something you're, you're curious about or, you know, certain, if there's certain brands, other brands I recommend, I'm happy to talk about that too. So yeah, that's what I got for starting a supplement regimen. <laughs>